Hi everyone, welcome to the very first Q&A of this channel. I'm going to make this a type of Sunday fun day. From now on, on each Sunday, I'll try to pick all the comments that you have. So I'm going to take all your lovely comments and all your questions and I'm going to try to answer the questions so that I can help you. Also, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer it as soon as possible. And I'll select all the questions and make a video on it to answer your questions. So let's start today's Q&A. So the very first question is about the viral video which I made a year ago. It's a Christmas video. I'll be linking it above. I've had lots of questions on this video and I'm going to answer some of them. The first question that I've had is which paper I have used for that decoration. Well for that decoration I have used crepe paper. A second question which I've been getting a lot is where can you buy this crepe paper. You can buy the crepe paper from any stationery shop. You can buy it from a bookstore any one dollar store you can get it from any craft shop where they sell craft stuff and you can also get it from a party shop where they sell party related stuff like balloons and so you can get the scrap paper from there you can also buy it from the internet on the same video i have had another question and the question is can we use tissue paper instead of crepe paper for the ribbon and the answer is yes yes you can use tissue paper it will be about the same result one more question i've been getting for that video is can you use cardboard paper instead of crepe paper no you cannot use cardboard paper because cardboard paper is a bit stiff when you will try to bend it and curl it the result will not be as beautiful as it is now so you will not get the same result instead i would advise you try to get the crepe paper and if you really cannot get the crepe paper then use tissue paper instead now some other questions that i've been getting where are you from well i'm from holland in the netherlands in europe the next question is can we get a birthday shout out yes you can of course you can if you want a birthday shout out then let me know in the comment section below when your birthday is and i'll give you a birthday shout out whether it's for you for your family or for any other loved one I'll try my best to give you a shout out. The next question that I got is concerning a face mask that I have made with socks. In that video, I had made five different face masks from socks. The question was, which filter did I use in that face mask? And the answer is, I did not use any filter. I used kitchen paper just to demonstrate and show to you how to make the face mask. You should try to get a filter. And if you cannot get a the filter, then use tissue paper. Tissue paper is not safe, but I've only done it to demonstrate and show you how you can make it very easily at home. Another question I've been getting for another video of my face mask. In that video, I have made face mask without sew. So no sew, no sewing machine. You can just make the face mask from fabric. And the question was, can we use t-shirt or any other fabric for the no sew face mask? yes you can you can use any other fabric just that cotton is breathable it's thin it's better but you can use any other material and the last question for today is how to know if your balloon is overfilled with air that's very simple when you're inflating a balloon and the balloon gets longer like an egg shape then that balloon is overfilled with air and it's more likely to burst or pop faster but if the balloon is round then it's not overfilled with air. That's one of the biggest ways you can know that if your balloon is overfilled with air or not. So the round small balloons are good, they are fine, but just as the balloons start to get longer in an egg shape, then you know that you're overfilling the balloon. It might burst, it might pop. I hope you liked this Q&A session. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all your questions as soon as possible. Till then, do check all my other decorations. I have lots of party decorations and all kinds of other DIYs which you can find nowhere else. So do have a look at them and I'm sure you'll find something awesome to make your occasion special.